Hey, Blaine, what are you doing, man? Just closing out last month, Steve. What's up? Oh, man, let me tell you something. I got a Ford Raptor. Do you know what that is? Ford Raptor? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. You know what it is? Yeah, it's a supercharged, loud, obnoxious pickup truck, right? That's right. Ford's truck, it's got a, it's, it's nuts. I got one in inventory. I bought it to sell it. Let's go for a ride. Can I drive? I guess. Let's go. All right. Dude, look at this thing. <laughs> is this cool or what? Dude, this is incredible. I know we're a Chevy dealer, but you got to admit, this is cool. This is a Ford Raptor. You think we can put a bow tie on it? Can we take the Ford? You know what? That's not a bad idea. Yeah. With the Chevy logo on the front of it? One of a kind. Nah, probably would, probably would hurt the value if we did something like that. Or up it. You could up it. <laughs> All right, let's see what this thing can do, man. Put your seatbelt on. Yeah. I know how you're a wild man. You... We don't know where this thing can go. This, there's probably not too many places it can't go. Man, I've always wanted to drive one of these things. You know what, man? This thing's got, I want to say 430 horsepower. Yeah. Supercharged. Yeah. Okay, Blaine, this is a 6.2 liter. It's got 411 horsepower and 430 foot-pounds of torque. For a truck? It's a truck with these big beefy tires, they call it. It's a beast. Better said, it's a Raptor. What do you think of when you think of a Raptor? It tears things up, I guess. You can go anywhere you want. The Raptor? That's a dinosaur, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a pterodactyl? What's the difference between a pterodactyl and a raptor? I don't know. I wasn't too good in uh, science. Or, or what is that? <laughs> it's not math. Yeah, it's not math. That's for a fact. Science. Yeah, it'd be science. So so you're not a... Uh, you don't know what the difference is between a pterodactyl and a well, raptor? Well, I know what a pterodactyl is. I don't know what a raptor is. What's a pterodactyl? That's one of the things that fly. Well, didn't a raptor fly too? I don't know. I just told you. I don't know what it is. I know what we need to do. Where's my phone? Google? I don't even I'm got mine. I'm going to ask Google. Let's ask Google what a raptor is. I'd like to know. Okay, Google. What is a raptor? It's a bird of prey. Pterodactyl. A Velociraptor or a Eutophator? <laughs> Eutoraptor. I don't know what. Anyway, it's a bird that flies. I envision something with claws on the end of it. It's like hands. Right. Anyway, back to the that truck. That a bird of prey, right? Bird of prey. So this would eat, eat its competition. Eat? Well, listen. Chevrolet is the competition, so let's not get carried away. Yeah. It's a nice truck. Yeah. I mean, it's a Ford Raptor. You can't beat it, man. I like the design. I mean, it's 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 squared off. It's very masculine-looking truck. Now, is this all touchscreen too? Yeah, it's got an eight-inch touchscreen, heated seats, navigation. I think it's yeah, it's got navigation. Uh, there you go. There we go. We got full navigation, heated seats, sunroof. Is there anything this thing don't have that you know of? I don't. I don't think so. Blaine, it's got it all. It's got all these auxiliary buttons. You feel like you're in the cockpit of a tank. It does. Doesn't it look like a, the cockpit of a tank? Oh, it's it's comfortable for being such a mean machine. It's comfortable. It's, you know, it's got a big back seat. Uh, a lot of room in it. Good. It, it'll go. Yeah, well. well. 400 horsepower, huh? 411. 411 horsepower. 6.2 liter. This thing's set to tow. You got all power windows and locks. I like the exterior of it. You've got the white with against the black with the graphics package. I like the hood. The hood's sharp. You got like those lures on the hood? Yeah. It says Raptor right up there on the front. Do you mind, Steve? 
Let's see what this thing can do. I'm trying to find out what we're selling this for. Yeah. Well, let me find out how much horsepower it has. Okay, okay, I think we're good. Okay, so this thing, this thing was over $70,000, mid-70s, for a, you know, new, and you're able to get this thing for uh, 56 pounds, and it's got less than 11,000 miles. 56,500? Yes. And it was 70,000 new? Over 70. And you That's don't it. ever see these on the road. Well, this thing, it still smells new. Looks new. I just like, I like the whole truck, man. It just, it just, it screams. It's not, a, it's not bad for a Ford. You like it, don't you? It's all right. I'd much rather have my Silverado, though. Maybe. Yeah. You ought to just buy this for your own collection. No, no, no. This, this is something that we need to have. This, you sell something like this. Blaine, the, the whole idea behind the SVG motors is that, you know, you don't have to buy new. You can buy used and save a bunch of money, you know. And, and it's just, just another example of a great used vehicle that otherwise new was outrageous uh, price. And now it's, it's, uh, it's it, you know, it's not that bad. Well, for what you get. It's still a lot of money. Well, Steve, um, you know this thing ain't going to be on a lot long. Well, something like this is so unique. I mean, there's, there's, there might be five of these in the country available right now. Well, it's the right color. You like the white against the black with yeah. the black? What do you think about the black wheels? I really like the black wheels, especially on this white. I'm not sure. I, you know, when I first, when they first started coming out with the black wheels, I was like, you know, uh, I really like the chrome wheels. Right. But I'm starting to come around. We're on the same page. Is that how you were? Yeah. The black wheels really set it off. It just makes it look mean. I mean, I, it makes I don't it look know. rugged, tough, and classy all at the same time. It took me forever to get used to the black wheels. I thought the black wheels were for teenagers. The more and more I saw it, but that was always about chrome wheels too. Right. Right. I agree with you. I agree with you. Now you were just old. Yeah, speak for yourself. I'm not that old. Well, you're older than I am. Am I? Yeah. I feel older though. <laughs> Shoot. Well, you're getting gray hair. Thanks for pointing that out. Well, I already got it, so I got to point it out on somebody else. Well, I keep it trim on the side so you can't see this well. I get a haircut in the morning. You need to do something with that. Yeah, I know. You had a pretty good month, Blaine. I'm Best proud of you, ever. man. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Yeah, you've been doing finance now for six months. Six months. And, uh, you know, you our customer service uh, scores are higher than they've ever been. And, you know, you're, you're, you're getting the customers in and out of the finance office very quickly, answering all their questions. Are you enjoying yourself? I love it. Do you? It feels great to work for an owner that cares about his employees. Well, I appreciate you saying that. Green, I think, Green, you remember when I told you, whenever you bought this place, he was gonna make a huge difference in Greenville, you remember that? I remember you saying that, Green. I said, where's Greenville? I love this town. It's a nice town. It's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing town. You know, when we got here, we did the Dark County Fair, and we did all that stuff, and I was just, I was just, I can't wait for next year's Dark County well, Fair. I told you, all the customers that come in, I, I'm i actually even shocked myself on how much they've embraced you and SVG Chevrolet after having Ron Gary here for so many years and him having such a loyal customer base. But they've really embraced us and you're doing great things for Greenville. Well, I think we're we're doing great things. We got a great team. We got a great team, uh, great staff. We don't miss too many deals, I can tell you that. Well, you know my philosophy. We can replace cars, you can't replace customers. So that if we is get a correct. customer in the store, we need to find a way to make the deal happen.
some things in Greenville, Ohio that big city Chevrolet dealers wish they could do. Well, we just got to keep it up. We got That's a testimony to our manager's team, our owner's team, and most importantly, our sales staff. We just, we need to keep doing what we're doing. I think the secret is just take care of our customers. You know, when they come in, make it a fun experience. We don't take ourselves that serious. And, you know, when they sit down with us, we're transparent. We show them the best price in the market. Um, and it, yeah, anyway... When you're having fun, things are a lot how many, easier. How many customers do you see come out of here that are laughing, joking, and having a good time? They don't get that experience anywhere but SVG Chevrolet. I love it. Look at this truck from the outside. I was talking to you about, the, look, the hood. Oh, what is that? Oh, what, what the? It's like Knight Rider. Yeah. You know, I, I just think I just think it's really cool, the black, the way it's, it says F-150 and the rafters kind of barely, barely, you can, but see how the fenders, I mean, look down the side, Blaine, how the fenders like stick out. They're like beefy, broad shoulders, muscular looking. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. All yeah. through here. I really like that. And back here, same thing. I mean, you look back here. Well, you notice you got the slots in the, in the step bars. Oh, you know what? I didn't even notice that. For yeah. the air to go through. And if you feel that, it feels like the, uh, like the bed liner material. Oh, yeah. I told you, 6.2 liter SVT, supercharged, 411 horsepower, 433 foot pounds of torque. It's unbelievable. Would you get mad if I bought this myself? I, well, how can I get mad? You're a Chevy sales uh, finance manager. You got to be kind of driving a Chevrolet. Yeah, I guess I could. That'd look bad, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hard not to, hard not to be impressed by this thing. Nobody. It's beautiful.